What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Chinese dragon today, sort of close up on the head, right? I'm in a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast and try to have fun. Drawing's all about fun. So, let's go. All right, Chinese dragon. So we're gonna start with his eye, right? Center point of my page is about here. Come up over to the right and we're gonna give him sort of a rice grain of a rice shaped eye just like that right and then we're gonna go with this slender sort of eye there like that then we'll give him an eyelid just coming around something similar just on the bottom of the eye Rain, like a heavy frowning sort of area then above right so that comes down it's around here and then it goes back up bumping This kind of stuff there here right you can put um, sort of spirals and you can make them as um, cool looking as you want like you can add all these flowing sort of lines and then coming back up this way textures like that right and then we got like more stuff coming around his face so he's got like a big snout as well but we've got um more sort of flame and stuff all coming out the back here of the eye and so like maybe even another layer in here right and like textures and small lines on this as well Right, and this is like his cheekbone sort of thing that comes up into there. <clears throat> right, so the snout sort of at the front here, right? So it like bumps down here. And then we've got like a big nostril in here. It comes down to a point here. And we can just color this black. Right, and then there's like some skin folds and stuff on this. Like little spikes like this. Um, like so. Lots of this spiraling stuff then. This is his cheek that goes that way. And then the top of the nose comes across here. And we meet the other nostril. So that will stick up here. Just like curves around and then go down into here so this on this side will do that as well like that and then another dark nostril hole just here So just like there, across the top, we've got like some lines, just 
что snag there at the front okay so then this kind of curves around comes up down to a point back up and then this will eventually like bump all the way around here and it like starts to have all these spirally kind of whiskers and things that right so lots of like edge lines and textures and stuff do, 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 do. some more sort of spiking lines here and then the back of the jaw sort of has all these spikes will have all texture lines on them as well. Okay, so then the rest of the top of this head, so we'll come out from the nose here. Yeah, so we'll go this way. And then it kind of bumps around. We'll just go back this way and add some spikes on his forehead and bumps coming down the center. sort of texture lines and stuff on the middle of his head all right like so and then we got some spikes like sticking up from the other side that okay so that's the top jaw so the bottom jaw then we got like again these spiking sort of hair feathers kind of I don't know what they are but they come out there for his bottom jaw and his mouth is open right it comes down curves around at the bottom back up the other side eventually becomes like teeth right but we can just see his bottom lip goes up this way sort of around the jaw there right and this will have like texture lines just on the lips just here so right and then we have a sort of a skin flap in here that kind of binds his mouth together right there's all these spirals inside it's kind of an interesting design so all these kind of spiral lines inside here Right, and then his gum line sort of here, right? It kind of bumps across. We've got like a big tooth here. Right, and then like gum, sort of just like a bumping line across. 
like so, and then like a big tooth there, and then another one in the front here, and the other one in behind there, I'd say. And then the rest of them are pretty small. And just a couple hanging down the other side of his mouth here. Yeah, and then these are just like gum lines and stuff. Right, so then the other side of the mouth and teeth and stuff. So, got like real big teeth here. Do another little gum line sort of along here as well. And then just start adding teeth. Some of them are bigger than others. Right, and then we have a bit of a gum line that runs up this way. The back of his mouth. And then a blue skin line here. And then like another big tooth here. Like so. Right, and then the tongue is right out from the back of the mouth. All the way in that way, and then like some skin and wrinkles just all there. Okay, so that's pretty much the head. Okay. So, loads more spikes coming down actually around the head and then all the way down to the chin. So we might as well do them. So like, Lots of these. It's going to come all the way around his jaw. Layered, right? All right, like so, and then they get they become like fins or spikes down here, like these kind of things. Two big ones that stick off here. Off the chin. Like so. Right. Okay, so. Back of the neck. Let's see where we're going from. We'll go out from here, say, down there, and then the front of the neck. So we'll go from here. All right, 
and then at the top, right, there's loads of horns and stuff. So, say, big. Big horn there. Another one there. Another one out that way. And you can just see one kind of sticking up the back of the head here. It's all going out the back of the head. These wavy sort of horns. And you can put textures on them if you want. Like that. And then his the back of his neck has all scales on it as well. Spikes. Keep going all the way down. And some down here as well. Do, do, do. Right, and then neck sort of scales, right? Another sort of different color sort of section here. Right, and then this has scales on it too. Right, like so, and then if you want like more textures on his neck, just make him look a little bit scaly, like so. Okay, and then like Chinese dragons usually have like these big whiskers that come out from their snout, like really big ones. Okay. Like so, and then maybe one, so from the similar spot, so we'll go from like here, and you can just go, of course, if you draw over anything, you can just erase what's underneath. Right, so this will all be like a whisker, and that'll be a whisker. Do I want to do one more? No, I think one's enough. Okay, that's how to draw a Chinese dragon. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.